AL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. Almost ready to get underway. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Dane Dunning. Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Ready to go. Leading Ooh. off, Taylor Ward. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And this one is off and running. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. The pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the right-hander deals. And a ground ball to first. He takes it on his Out. own. One up, one down. Batting second. The designated hitter, Luis Rengifo. So now here's the DH. Luis Rengifo. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. That's a laser base hit. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. One out, runner at second. So in now for the Angels, Mike Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Big time power. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only other players in Major League history with those numbers at that age, A-Rod and Willie Mays. Pitch misses there. Two balls, no strikes. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. That one's spoiled and the count now 2 and 1. And the righty deals. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. And that misses off the outside edge. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and deals. Back-to-back oh. -back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The pitch. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. One out. Runners at first and second.
Flares it into the outfield. Makes the catch for the second out. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. There's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. And takes low for ball one. Kicks and fires. And the one two misses to even the count. Two two. And here it comes. In there. Got him looking for the K. Throws him with a backdoor slider. So they strand a pair. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. Back here at the ballpark. And today's starter, Tyler Anderson. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. The wind of the pitch. Marcus Simeon leading things off and takes a strike. Anderson ready to work. And that's in for a strike. The 0 2. And that skips in the dirt. Right side. And that chance handled. Now the throw to first on the run. They get him, but it was pretty close. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. And a swing and a miss there. And that one fouled off. Next pitch no. misses. One and two to count. One it's a good take. And a ball one. evens the count. And now two and two. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Oh! A towering shot to center, and the Rangers take the lead. It's 1-0. job of anticipation there he knows he throws the sinker that one down in the zone you're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to well he won here's Nathaniel Lowe in there and it's on one no ball one strike Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys Not here. Out. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. And that's in there for strike one. That clips the corner. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Next pitch is outside. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The pitch. Off the mark oh. there. Two balls, two strikes. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. And the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Good eye right okay. there. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, he used the slow curve very effectively right there. He just spun it up to the plate and had his guy way out front. Not only a good pitch, but a really good job of setting it up. Here's Josh Young. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball, one strike. And now the lefty. Ball. Come on, Texas, let's go. And it is Ball. two and one. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back. And now, Brandon Drury. The left hand number 23, Brandon Drury. Dunning back to work. And ball one. One ball, no strike. Ah. Top of the zone for a called strike. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. 3-1. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. comes a pitch knocks that one away and we'll do it again
Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Blowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. And now Jared Walsh. First ball. offering misses the mark. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you. you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. That one is absolutely belted and gone. He sends it out of here and they grab the lead. It's 2-1. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. So one out, nobody on. Number nine, the next to hit for the Angels. Yep. In there for strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. The 0-1 is outside, outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Three. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. That one ball. misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two ball. Recognize two that strike. change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The 2 2. Ball three. Full count. And he walked him. The batter number three. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Taylor Ward, the next to hit. He's 0 for 1. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Three Called round. strike right there. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing. There goes the runner. First strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base stealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment, or guys are going to be running all game. Runner leads away at second. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Doubled in his first A.B. They say it went. Oh, 
Foul ball there. Runner at second, two down. Got it by him for the K. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here's the Rangers, D.H. Jonah Heim. The wind and the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Ball, go. And that's a strike. Three ball, one strike. Two. That catches the zone for a strike, and the count's full. High fly ball out towards left field. Drury going back, back some more, still going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Mitch Garver, one of the rare major league players who hails from New Mexico and one of the other ones, pretty good player. Third baseman for the Astros. Garver grew up playing with Alex Bregman as a kid. And downstairs. One ball, no strike. And there's a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Here, Got him. Here. Now two out. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Just missed. One out. Hit hard, base hit. Right there, he does a great job of Not staying in the big part of the field. No, Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here's Leody Tavares. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. First offering, and it just misses. Good eye right there. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Marcus Simeon to bat next. Here's a 3-0. And a four-pitch walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Back to the top of the lineup. Up next for the Rangers, Marcus Simeon. Going to 
Bryant. And a pitch. Strike two. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Slice to right, down the line, and it's foul. First and second, two down. Going to count one and two. One, two. He goes down looking. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Top half of the third inning. So in now for the Angels, Mike Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Dunning, back to work. In there at the knees, and that's strike one. Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation pick for the Angels for the free agent loss of Mark Teixeira when he signed with the New York Yankees. Up next for the Angels, the third baseman. Anthony Here's Rendon. Anthony Rendon, Rendon up to the plate. He's over one. Oh, that right. one's in there, 0 and 1. No ball, one strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. That one catches the zone, and it's nothing in two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The bat. Here's the Angels the catcher. catcher, Matt Theis. Caught looking his first time up. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And that's in for a strike. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and one. First and second here, no outs. Check swing, no appeal. Now three and one. Hit on the ground, might be two. Seeger feeds to second, out there. Relay to first, double play. Brandon Drury to the plate. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Two outs. Up the middle, Simeon. The throw to first, and that is that. Angels strand one, but they still lead it two to one. Set for the bottom of the third, Seeger stands in now. The shortstop, Corey Seeger. And a pitch. That's outside. outside. And that is ball one. Let's go. 
But why the kick the pitch? And that one no, just missed ball. off the outside edge. Two ball, one strike. Swings and misses. Two, two. two and two. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit, picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Lowe, in his third season, 27 years old, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. First pitch, just misses. One ball, no strike. And that's a little high. That one in for a strike, two and two. Two ball, two strike. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now the right field. Man at first with one gone. Adolis Garcia will hit next. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. That misses. No, that's a ball. ball one. And there's the strike. Pitch misses there. Two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. And the 3 1. They say it went. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Payoff pitch. That one ripped. And a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes and that A-B. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. 0 for 1 so far. That one's in there. Strike one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. And one and two. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Oh, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So first and second with two outs. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Jonah Heim. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That's off the mark, and the count is one and one. One one.
Swung on, belted. Drury on the move, heading back. Back some more. To the warning track, makes the catch. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. On to inning number four. Angels two, and the Rangers one. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Hunter Renfro. The right-hander back to work. Hard ground ball, base knock. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got now something he could handle. Perfect. Timing on the swing was good, Here able to shoot the ball up the middle. Oh. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. Rudder takes off. Chopped to the left side. Whips it across. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. And now the shortstop, number nine. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. John King, the left-hander, up and throwing. Right-hander kicks, deals. They say it went. One out, and a runner at second. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the catch. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. So the lineup flips over, and the batter now, Taylor Ward. That's off the mark. One and oh. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Righty to the plate. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. Ground ball right side, Simeon. Slings to first, and that's the third out. Angels leave one, as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Ready to go, bottom Ready four. Go. And Ready now the catcher Rangers. comes up to him. Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. Garver. The pitch. Ball oh. one low. Outside. Oh. Swing and a miss, and it's two and one. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. So up next, Ezekiel Duran.
Bounce to third. Diving, and he can't make the play. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right now. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over it. Next up for Texas, Leody Tavares. A switch hitter batting right. And first offering is fouled off. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. No outs, runners at first and second. In the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, no but a competitor like Second him, he is man. looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Simeon. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Now it's Marcus Simeon. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That one is upstairs. Hard hit down the line and left. He can't get there. It's a base hit. The run comes in from second, it's 2-2. And he's there with a double. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now it's Corey Seager. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Low in the box now, takes strike one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And he deals. Swing and he popped it up. And a base hit. One runs in. The second run scores. And it's 4-2. Well, here we are, third time through the order. And this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. One down. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. And he takes a strike. Here's your one. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Just no. misses the mark outside the zone. One ball, two strikes. And That's another ball. ball. And that one a little bit high. He really committed to that okay. fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Garcia checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No, he held back. That's ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Now the Angels manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. 
Tyler Anderson won't go any further tonight. And the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new this. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Tucker Davidson. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. One out, base is loaded. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. Ball one there. One out, base is full. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. And that one ripped into right. And that's a fair ball. One runs in, another comes in to score. It's 6-2. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now at the plate, Jonah Heim. That's in there, and that is strike one. At the belt and fires. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. First and third, one down. Next pitch misses outside, and it's one and two. And there's a the ball. Ripped, and this one could be extra bases. One run is in. Young around third. Now a relay to the plate. Slides his hand in there. Save. It's a two. Nicely done. Brings home two. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And it's second with one away. And here's the catcher, Mitch Garver. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. And it's one and one. And that's outside. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Right side. Renfro in position. That's out number two. And now here's the a speed Hunter, threat. Outfielder, three. Ezekiel Duran. In there, and it's 0 1. Check swing of the 0-2, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. The pitch. 
And that oh. one almost got him. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The one two. Out to short. Sends it to Walsh. Play made. That ends the inning. But they take the lead on a huge seven run outburst. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Rangers eight and the Angels two. John King takes over on the mound. He's pitching on two days rest. And now the DH, Luis Rangifo, one for two. Luis. Red They've got a potent lineup and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit they're right at the top of the list a little bit low well a big lead like this is comfortable many times but not when these two teams are matching up you got to continue to keep your head down play catch with that catcher and just try to move through this lineup next right. offering is in for a strike you know these angels finding ways to get on base but they still need help driving them home they've had their chances with runners in oh, scoring oh. position but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations next pitch oh, is right. outside and you got to give some credit to the other side as well they've been able to get out of a few tough jams but frustration is mounting for this offense no doubt out towards right center field Garcia puts the squeeze on that one and there's one away the center field, number 27. and now batting Mike, Mike Trout. Trout he's not going to get cheated up there no he's not he's looking to do damage with every swing he takes in there for strike one oh, wow. Mike Trout just a special player a special human does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field no swings and misses that is strike two I think with Mike Trout when you consider all the awards the wins above replacement he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy that he'll end up as one of the greatest position players of all time throws the first and the first two set down to the top of the fifth Rendon. Now it's Anthony Rendon. One of the unfortunate things is that in this guy's career, particularly early, we just didn't get to see him in the postseason very much. You want to see the best players playing in October. Four. First pitch, and that's no in ball. for a strike. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Angels held in check, and it's still 8 2. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in is the speedy Laoti Tavares. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power. And he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His oh. biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Did now a check swing. swing at the 1 1. Look down to first, and he went around. Ruled a swing. Back up the middle in a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any no better than that. No Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So the batting order turns over. Here is Marcus Simeon. One for three. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. That Be one's right. in there, 0 and 1. Here comes the 0 1. 
In the air, out towards right center. Trout on his horse. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. One down. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Man at first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Corey Seager. He's already homered in this game. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Next offering is foul back. <laughs> Davidson over to first. Tavares gets back easily. The 0 2. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Two away. Now, bad. The, the first base baseman. Nothing. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. That one's in there. Strike one. Now if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in easily. Another throw over, he's and he's back again. Left hand batter waits. Two they one. tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And here it comes. And that one missing okay. low. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold table. First and second, two down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pitch misses, and it's 1 0. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. That's in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Fly ball down the line. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. A run comes in on the play. Well, everyone is thinking, Ed, would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the park? We'll never know, but... They do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. So two on with two away. Josh Young now at the plate. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last A-B. Gets the call. That's strike one. Good eye oh. right there. The 1-1. One, 2-1. One. 
It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The count two and one. Two. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. Grabs it right up against the wall. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We're through five. It's the Rangers nine and the Angels two. Top of the sixth inning. So in now for the Angels, Matt Dice. Matt Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. King back to work. That's a strike. 0-1. King, a 6-2 southpaw. He features a sinker, a changeup, a slider, and occasionally uses a cutter. Next pitch is downstairs. And yeah, that's outside. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now it's going to be Brandon Drury. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and fires. And that one off the outside edge. Who owes the count? And that one finds its way through. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Renfro no, ball. lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One one now. No. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. The 2 1. Fouled off. He was late. Inside three and two the count. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Rolled to short. Possible two ball. Boots it. Short enough to swing and went right back up the middle. So digging in, Jared Walsh. He's already homered here in this one. First no, pitch doesn't not. find the zone. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The 1-0. 
That's a little bit low. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Kicks and deals. And that drops in for a strike. Slow ground ball to the right side. Not in time to first, and a run comes across. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. So up next, number nine. Roll to short, could be two. One at second. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killing. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double plays kind of a rally killer. The next to hit for the Angels. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Rudder at third, two away. To the right side. That ends the frame. So two runs in the inning, three hits, one error, and one left on. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Rangers nine and the Angels four. Back here at the ballpark, now go, it's go. the Hold DH. The Jonah Heim. Heim measures six feet, four inches. 27 years old, and he's usually a catcher. Today, he gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Well, I really like when a guy gets a break like no, that. No, he no, still no. gets to stay involved catch, catch. in the game. Instead of starting behind the dish, gets to hit, gets to rest a little bit, gets to watch the game from a different perspective. Up next for the Rangers, Mitch Garver. In the dirt, one -oh. and that's ball one. To third, Rendon. Tosses to first. Out. And a couple of quick outs. The left fielder, number, number 20, 20. Ezekiel Duran. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. And that's in there for strike one. And a swing and a miss. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Next that's offering is downstairs. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Nothing across here this half. We're through six full. It's the Rangers nine and the Angels four. We go to the top of the seventh. Now here is Luis Rengifo. Luis Rengifo. The wind of the pitch. And that one clips the corner. Wait. 
And a pitch is outside, ball one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. On the ground to third. Over to low. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The center fielder, number 27, Mike Trout. Here's Mike Trout. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Started to swing, held up. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deep the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. The 3 That's 2 the is Thank off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, you know, this guy wants to swing it, but he's the showing some good patience in this one. It's the Anthony second time he's taken ball four. Rendon. Now, the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. There's the strike. And that's oh, wow. down it away. Hard ground ball base nine. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. He was all over that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jose LeClaire. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. So one out with two aboard. Matt Theis, the next to hit for the Angels. Misses outside, and that is ball one. Slider clips the zone. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Josh Spores. The hard-throwing righty is up and loosening. Here we go, the 1-1 oh. is upstairs. And a count 2-1. One. One And that one hammered Garcia going back on this one. Looking up, pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags up for third. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Now the left fielder, Brandon Drury. there and it's 0-1. And there's a foul ball. Next offering is foul back. And the right hater deals. Misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Up. 
on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Angels strand a couple. They trail it here, 9-4. It's for the And welcome back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Laoti Tavares. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. That's down and in. I think baseball starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need them in this game today. Top of the zone for a strike. And the count even one and one. The one one is fouled off. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. One thing that really stands out is their chase rate. League average is around 30%, but they're at less than 20% right now. Rendon throw now first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Simeon. Next up for Texas, Marcus Simeon. It's been tough fooling these guys, and those chase rate numbers back it up. They've been really smart at the plate, and that's one of the best ways to frustrate a pitcher because nothing seems to come easy. The 0-1. Slowly on the ground to short. On the run, sends it over to first. Ow. Just got him on that one. Gio Urshela coming into the game now as the injury replacement. So now it's Corey Seager. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. In there for strike one. No ball, one strike. That one, one not one. close, and it's a ball and a strike. This ball's chopped on the ground. Sends it to Walsh, and Seager is set down. That's the inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They're on top, however, 9-4. Now it's Hunter Renfro. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Cole Reagans up and throwing. Out in front one with ball. the swing, and that is strike one. Out to short, Seeger. Fires across the Out. diamond, and Renfro is retired. Now batter, the first baseman, Jared. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. There's the strike. The old no, one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The one one is fouled off. Wings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here's Gio Urshela. 
getting his first appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench defensively. And that's yep. in there for strike one. Oh, one. And the righty deals. That one the other way. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Shohei Otani. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Three, four, five, two up for the home team. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. Singing Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18 MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, he was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, he's doing something that we've never seen done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game. And just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. Next pitch has popped up. Walsh makes the grab. And there's one away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. That MVP I mentioned about Otani in 2021, he was actually a unanimous MVP. And the first unanimous AL MVP since Mike Trout in 2014. Other guys that have done that, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Frank Robinson. And there's two down. Now batting, third, third base. Base. Two outs, base is empty. Josh yeah. Young digs in now. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Trout is there. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Rock Burke. This softball has been really good against left-handed hitters. Stepping in, Taylor Ward. The second base, Taylor Ward. Here comes a pitch. And ball one. Berg, a 6'4 lefty. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Pulls that one foul. Swings and misses. One, and the count one and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering is fouled back. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Fights it off. He'll see another. The one two. And a base hit up the middle. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. So a man aboard, Luis Rangifo, the next to hit. 
Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Way back there. And that one is going to go. A two-run shot. Home run number five on the season. And they add a couple more. It's 9-6. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Here's Trout. First pitch just misses. Good eye right there. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Will Smith, the closer of the staff, is throwing. Rodriguez warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. That one in there across the letters. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. That one in for a strike, two and two. Rip to short. To first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. At the bullpen is Will Smith. 25th appearance of the year for him. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Rangers. Number 51. Where? Now it's going to be Anthony Rendon. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. That one missed. Two, two. And now it's three and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. In the air, right field. Garcia makes the play. Two away down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the Angels catcher, Matt Theis. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. In the air out to right. Garcia really on his horse for this one. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers slug their way to a win in this one.
Plenty of runs to go around in this one. Not a great day to be a pitcher. These hitters look like they were having a lot of fun. It's like they knew what was coming. 9 6 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.